in the name of allah who is the most gracious and the most merciful assalamu alaikum my dear students i welcome you all in my class in our english class today we will learn unit number 2 that is beauty of nature in this unit we will learn about the life cycle of a caterpillar dear students in your screen you may you can see there is a branch on which there you know, there are some leaves on the leaves you can see some tiny eggs that will be changed into caterpillar this caterpillar will be changed into pupa and at that it becomes an adult butterfly you may have seen this caterpillar in real life on leaves and you may also have seen the beautiful butterflies okay dear student now we are moving toward the poem the poet is christina rosetti in this poem the poet says brown and furry caterpillar in a hurry take your walk to the shady leaf or a stalk in these lines the poet is seeing a caterpillar he says there is a brown and furry furry mean covered with wings or hair there is a brown and uh, hairy caterpillar which is moving in hurry which is moving in a speed which is moving in rush take your walk to the shady leaf or a stalk it's moving toward a shady leaf or it is moving toward a twig a branch or a trunk or what not which may be the chosen spot or maybe it is moving toward it's a chosen spot mean a selected area or place it is moving toward its destination where it has to eat some food so it is moving toward the shady leaves it's moving toward a branch no thought spare you hovering bird of prey pass by you it is in so speed that even thought thought is a kind of frog the poet says even frogs cannot spare you cannot examine you cannot notice you and the birds which are flying for hunting their prey for hunting their uh, for hunting their uh, animal to eat so maybe they are also not uh, notice you spin and die and maybe they will not notice you and they will not spin you and they will not die you so you uh, they will not twist you they will not expire you they will not kill you and you may be live again a butterfly and you may be after some time you may be become a butterfly an adult butterfly so it is about the poem that there was there is a poet who is seeing a, a caterpillar which is moving toward its selected area it can be the it can be the shady leaf it can be a stalk stalk mean twig or the branch and it is in so speed that even the toad means the frog and other animals or birds can not notice him to kill uh, to kill him and he can be a butterfly in future so let's move toward some difficult words there is the some words number one word is furry furry mean covered with wings or hair second word is hurry hurry mean move with speed or rush rush mean to run in speed stalk mean trunk twig or small branch chosen means selected spot is spot means place or area then there is tor tor mean a kind of frog spray spray mean to examine to notice hovering mean flying or hanging prey mean hunt or kill spin mean twist or turn die mean finish finish expire and pop off now let's move towards some facts about the caterpillar caterpillar or butterfly is an insect their wings are transparent they use their feet to taste they don't live more than 10 days their wings have the vibrant colors and they need heat to be able to move now we are moving toward the book exercise that is on page number 16 exercise is 1 in this exercise you can see some words are highlighted with red colors 
these are these highlighted words are the silent letters when we pronounce this word we do not uh, pronounce the letters these are the silent number one word here is climb design thumb name honest autumn rap kernel fasten knock often guide in these in all these words i have not pronounced the red highlighted letters now we are moving toward another exercise that is about fill in the blanks it is on page number 17 exercise is 3 read the lesson again and fill in the blanks with the correct options number 1 is dash wrote the poem caterpillar the correct option is c christina rosetti number second blank is a caterpillar is an a so correct answer is a caterpillar is an insect number b option the caterpillar is walking to the shady leaf correct option is shady leaf number 4 blank we have that is at the end the caterpillar becomes a butterfly so these are the correct option now we are moving to another exercise that is about rhyming words rhyming words are the, having the same ending sound here some stanzas are given to us we have to read the last word and we have to write the word which is ending with the same sound and word bank is also provided to us that is dad flower and grow number 1 is a little seed for me to sow a little soil to dash here we can say sow and grow another word is a little hole a little pat a little wish and dad so the rhyming word is pat and dad number third is a little sun a little shower a little while and then flower so here is the rhyming word so grow pat dad shower flower now we are moving toward another exercise that is in your homework you have to do exercise 2 on page number 19 on book the exercise is that you have to fill in the missing letter to complete the words you can see this exercise on your screen so you have to do this exercise on book with your ball pen with your ink pen i hope you understood today's um, lecture i wish you best of luck thank you for listening me goodbye and allah hafiz